understand it it is completely most easy and simple topic and if you don't understand it it is you can say it is most complicated this topic is very very important from the design detailing point of view because whenever you are design a beam or a column you have to provide cut up bars you have to provide built up bars so from that point of view this topic is very very important you must understand the, the terminology which is used here and the rules and principles which is used here okay so let's start this topic okay <clears throat> uh let's i take a snapshot So you can see that in almost all types of beams, whenever you are, sometimes you will experience of reading a drawing, structural drawing. You will see a beam, a continuous beam, okay, like this, and uh, when it uh, supports through various columns like let's say this is the column there is a column okay and uh, there is also a column okay right there so you know you will see there that they provide like bars in this region okay there they keep a bar then they provide bar in this zone okay then they provide bar in this zone okay they, this this kind of this this, this kind of bar is called positive reinforcement and uh, this one is called negative reinforcement okay. so you must know this is negative reinforcement this is providing for negative reinforcement and this is provided for positive reinforcement so basically I will already mention you this uh, point, this, this kind of reinforcement in that lecture at the end. That there is this positive bar because if you draw the moment diagram, it looks like this shape. It looks like in this shape. Okay. So basically, what this means that there is negative in negative moment is maximum there is positive moment is maximum okay and there is again negative moment and there is again positive reinforcement positive moment and there is negative moment okay so this means that this bars basically providing to cover the the negative moment and this bar providing to cover the positive moment okay and so on so this basically the bar the positive bar is cut at this point and it, it provide here okay and similarly it cut this point and it provide there so the positive bar is cut there and then they provide this bar here so this is therefore it is called cut off bar because it is cut it here and it is bring here okay and the negative bar which is cut here okay and that down that they provide it the down place so therefore this, this point is basically called cut down point okay. so cut off and cut down point is very important okay, from design point of view and uh, you must we do not now we, we start from simple example okay and then we come towards this complicated uh, arrangement of bars okay you do uh, an example 
uh, this kind of uh, this kind of uh, example okay but we basically start from the very beginning okay that how the, what 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 was what is the basic concept behind this cut up bars okay we we just start from a hmm, simply supporting thing okay so let's say uh let's say this is a simply supported beam okay and it is subjected to, to you know a udl okay uh if we draw a moment diagram which is some somewhat like this in shape it is 2 degree uh, it is 2 degree for udl and its maximum moment will occur in the mid span at the center line of the so you know the maximum movement just at just right at the mid 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 span okay mm -hmm. basically whenever we are designing a beam you know we design a beam for the maximum movement okay. we we provide the steel for maximum movement, okay so let's say if we design this beam for this maximum moment and we we i assume here that we get six number six bar okay six number six bar so which is you know now this six number six bar is provided to which is which is the requirement for this maximum moment okay but as we see that this moment start from this point and come coming down coming down 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 and reach to zero plus coming down and reach to zero so what does it mean it mean that the moment is getting reduced and once it reduce this obviously obviously this mean that we need to provide uh, we need to fix out some points and determine the moment at those points for example if i assume that this is the average height of this because this is parabolic shape and it reduces so if i assume that this is round about the average shape or you can say this is the average height that is you can say let's say this is 50% no one can think that here the maximum moment reduced to 50% now we need to provide 50% reinforcement here okay from behind this point behind this point okay so basically 50% like if we provide uh six number six bar at the mid portion so at 50% of this moment we need to provide three number six bar because requirement is 50% reduced the moment is 50% reduced so the requirement will also obviously will be reduced okay this is clear if you are providing bars for this maximum moment and this is let's say under kip under kip put okay under kip put and it demand is 6 number 6 bar and then it reduce this moment and you select 50 kip put that is 50% so if under if under kip put moment need 6 number 6 bar so 50 will need 3 number 6 bar obviously so then we need to provide here 3 number 6 bar and we need here 6 number 6 bar this basically this is this is the theoretical approach for cut off and cut a uh, cut off bars okay uh basically what we did the uh, theoretically we we will basically we select two points okay the one is at 2 by 3 okay and the other is 1 by 3 we divide this maximum moment into three equal portion okay into three equal portion so this this part is 2/3 this part is 1/3 okay uh, 
if I assume that let's say this 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 point is 60 kip foot okay so this point will be at 40 because two third of 60 is 40 and this one third portion of 60 will be 20 okay this will be 20 so you know if you are providing 60 uh, if you are providing six number six bar for 60 k foot and then you select two third so you need to select two third of the steel and two third of the steel will become four four bars four number six bar clear this is four number six bar so 40 k foot needs four number bars 60 needs six bars so 20 will need only just 20 will need only just two number six bar okay because uh, one third of the six bar will be one third of the six bar will be divide just only by three you will get two number of bars and two third of 60 will be So divided by 2 it comes out to be 4. So this is obvious, obviously it is very clear that we need to, to, to support to take 40 uh, to provide 4 number 6 bar for 40 k foot and 60 need 6 number 6 and then uh, one third woman needed 2 number of bar. So, what this arrangement may, uh, means that at the mid portion we need six number six bar. So, if it is a center line, okay, at center line we need six number six bar. But after that, at uh, two by third point, okay, two by third point we need how much? We need four number six bar. Four number six bar clear and at one third point we need two number six bar okay so the arrangement will be such that the same points will be there okay so you have to provide at this mid portion six number six bar and then up to this point you need to provide four number four bar Four number four bar beyond this point. Beyond this point, you need to provide four, and up to this point, you need just only two bar. Okay. So that would be the arrangement. That at the mid portion, you need to provide six bar. Okay. You need to provide six bar. You need to provide six bar. This is this. This bar will be up to 2 by 3rd. 2 by 3rd. Okay, this will also be provided to 2 by 3rd. And beyond this, beyond this point, this these four bars will be continuous. Okay, will be continuous okay. to both sides. From this side also. Up to how much distance? Up to one more third distance okay and beyond that one more third you need just to continue two bars this is the SA minimum criteria you need to continue two bars minimum two bars do not uh, continue one bar you minimum you, you need to continue two bar so this this kind of arrangement is now needed for this kind of okay so now we need to to determine these the distances of these points on the beam along the beam line. Okay, we need to find out these distances on the along the beam beam. Okay, so that that is next our target. Okay, so how we can determine? We mean some kind of assumption because this is not linear diagram. A moment diagram is not 
linear okay it is two degree parabola okay so we make an approach no this is the maximum moment okay this is maximum and it needs six bar here yeah. this is the next point that is two by third and this is the next point that is so let's say we divide this whole length into, uh, into how much distance three equal portion clear yeah. this is two this is two and this is two clear yeah. we say that this distance is to this point this distance is x1 clear yeah. we assume that this distance is up to this point is a this is x2 X2 and from the central line to this point is this is L by 2 because L is the total length of the wheel. Okay, so we use the parabolic relationship which is uh, x1 square divided by L divided by 2. Okay, is equal to this 2. For x1 this is 2 so 2 divided by whole height that is 6 clear from from this relationship you will get the x1 value okay you will get x1 value. and similarly from same relationship you will get 4 by 6 multiply by l by 2 clear so uh, this is a kind of approach. This is also whole square. This is also whole square. Clear? So from there, you will determine these distances. And then, how much this distance, this these points are, this, this point and this point, is how much from the face, you will subtract this x1 from l2, you will get this distance, that how much this distance will be from support. And remember, these points are basically called the theoretical kind of cutoff points. These points on the beam then, okay, these points on the beam then, once you locate it at their distances, is calculated. Uh, it should be remembered that for different types of loading diagram, these this is this is a kind of approach for parabola, okay. Uh, Different mathematical equations are used to find out these uh, diagrams. Okay, one can this can be easily achieved by drawing this diagram on scale. Okay, so by scale, if you, if you scale, uh, if you if you prepare this diagram on scale, you can easily get this. Okay, you can easily uh, determine these points. Okay, so. Uh, if you now you will draw these point on along the length of the beam so if this is the center line point this is two by third point and this is one by third point so basically these points are basically called theoretical cutoff points this is called theoretical cutoff point the one is actual cutoff point so at the preceding section inshallah we will discuss about what is actual cutoff points because we don't Cut the bars at theoretical point, cut up points, because there are so many uh, factors which affect these these points, and due to which we mm, we extend the bar length beyond these theoretical points and mm, add some extra length with the steel. Uh, add some extra length with the steel, because there are so many considerations. Okay. Uh, the actual loading behavior, the settlement of the, uh, settlement of the beam, okay, supports, and so many other things which is not basically accurately known to us. So due to those reasons, we don't able to calculate actual loading diagram, actual bending moment diagram. So we 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 go, we go towards so many safety factors, okay. We also because something. Uh, it is also experimentally uh, found that whenever you cut the bar 
whenever you cut the bar okay at a point so and you know there are bars and you cut this bar there is huge stress you know, change there is huge stress change there is okay there is a huge stress producing at this point okay tensile stress is producing and due to that stress there is a lot of strain produced okay and uh, as strain because we uh, this is the basic assumption in rcc that the strain which is produced in steel same strain will be produced in concrete okay at any point of the steel what whatever the value of strain will be equal to the strain at that point in concrete because the concrete is com composite material so therefore that strain once you cut this point here there is huge production of stress and due to that stress a very huge strain is produced means the strain and concrete is produced and due to that production of due to that production of strain uh, tensile you can say bending cracks occur okay and once the section is cracked so what will happen the beam effective cross section become reduced okay once the effective cross section means the section is cracked you know if for example if a section is cracked okay from the below portion okay so what will happen your neutral axis move to the upward direction comes here okay and thus a very huge portion become of your beam cross section become useless okay this, this portion become useless okay so due to uh, what its effect uh, its effect is on the shear because then your shear capacity become reduced so at this point when strain or bending cracks occur effective cross section of the beam reduced and due to the, due to the reduction of the cross section uh, there will be uh, reduction in the shear capacity of the beam because shear capacity depends upon the uh, capacity sharing capacity of the concrete section okay so there will be a very huge uh, shear stress occur okay shear stress occur so there are so many uh, shear stress okay. there are so many restrictions you know, there are so many provision so therefore you could important points according to a cut up cut up are bending bars okay so simple bar mein agar hum isko samajh le ki cut up bars hum provide karte hain theoretically hum provide karte hain kyunki hamari jo bending moment ki diagram hoti hai wo maximum se reduction ki taraf aati hai to is point ke upar agar hame chhi bars ki zarurat hai to zahir si baat hai kyunki 50% pe hame chhi bar ka 50% agar hum le le to then we need three bars okay here we six bars then we need three bars so a practical approach hoti hai iske liye ki kisi point ke upar agar moment 100 ke foot hai okay to zahir hai ki to reduce ho raha hai to agar yahan pe 100 se 50 ke foot aata hai to agar 100 ke liye agar aap six bar provide karte hain to 50 ke liye to zaruri hai ki teen bar provide kare so yahi wo concept hoti hai jiski base pe hum cut up bars provide karte hain to ye economical hota hai basically economical point of view yahan se I already mentioned you that uh, most of time, most of time, the negative moment occurs at the bases of supports. Okay, and the positive moments they are occur at center. They are at center line or near the center line, in the locality of center line. Okay, so 
this point and also here at other points in the beams the moments were less although it is possible to vary beam depths in some proportion to the bending moment okay so if you uh, you can do this approach also that you will vary the beam cross section okay you can you can reduce the beam cross section because at the mid your moment is maximum to provide maximum cross section and the support the but that 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 approach is you know it is an economic okay this tarah ki uh, you can say particularly this tarah ki section banana jisme width depth variation karta ho to an economic hota hai the most important approach is that you will reduce uh, reduce the reinforcing bar okay reinforcing steel is quite expensive and cutting it up and cutting it up where possible may be appreciate appreciably reduce cost okay so that 50% in this equation i will explain okay so you can make graphical approaches okay you can make graphical approaches okay so we so this was the whole uh, story you can say behind the cut up bars okay now one most important thing is that uh, you have to check you know you have to check your moment capacity this is the example okay i have tried to explain it this is the uh, simply uh, simply supported beam having the cross section and these are uh, bars locations up to this point you provide six bars beyond that point you provide four bars and beyond that point you can't Parts, okay. and this is one over third point. This is two by third, and this is the maximum point. Uh, practically, we will do an example on this whole topic. Okay, uh, it will clear the concept that what practically it means. Okay, practically how we can provide it. Okay, so for the uniformly loaded simply sub beam, this is the uniformly beam. Okay, take up. Determine the theoretical points on each end of the beam. Where two bars can be cut up, and then you tell you the points where two more bars can be cut up. Okay, so there are two theoretical points, cut up points. So at one you have to cut up two bars, and at other point you have to cut up two more bars. Okay, so you need to the the beam is given. Okay, this is the beam having a 5.5 kick foot loading, 30 foot span. And this is the cross section, and it designed six number nine bar. So total six square inches needed. Uh, total amount of bar is six. Okay, twenty-seven inch is the effective depth, and thirty inch is the uh, you can say. Uh, so this was the example. You know, this is the beam, you know, simply supported beam having thirty foot span. And it is subjected to a 5.5 kip foot loading, and this is, you know, the cross section. It has one, it has six number of bars, okay. And total cross section is eight six square inches. You should be remember that the section is basically designed for the maximum moment, okay. This is basically designed for the maximum moment, and the maximum moment will be as this is ultimate loading. So the you can say the maximum moment will be uh, the maximum moment will be W U L square divided by three. So the maximum moment will be W U square divided by divided by. So this six number nine bar is basically provided for this amount of moment. Okay. <clears throat> now the question is basically what is uh, needed or you can say what is required in this example is you have to find out two theoretical point okay uh, when we cut up two bar we just only continue four bar and then we cut up two further more bar okay so you have two points clear you have You have two theoretical points. Okay, two, two theoretical cut-up points. This is one and this is two. Theoretical point one and theoretical point cut-up point one and cut-up point two. So basically, 
you know that when two bars are cut up okay when two bars are cut up your a is t will be reduced clear okay at six number nine bar gives you six square inches so for four number of bars when the number when you reduce the number of bars from six to four your s t will be become six square inches because the number nine plus sectional area is equal to one square inches clear so this was you know so basically these six number nine bars are good now if you cut up two bars okay your a is will reduce to from six square inches to four square inches okay now you have to find out the moment capacity right now that you are providing because you must remember that here moment capacity basically it is related with s there are direct proportion between these two when you are increasing this ast your moment capacity will be increases means your the moment capacity of packing moment capacity of this beam will be increasing okay so when we are providing a is equal to 4 square inches what will be the moment capacity okay so we will calculate for that purpose a that is the thickness of the concrete block and that will be calculated a is fy divided by 0.85 fc prime okay into b so a is 4 square inches fy that is 60 and 0.85 fc prime is it is 4 and b is 80 inches so once you put putting all these values you will get 5.23 now you can get the moving capacity that will be 5 uh, mu or uh, m in you can say that is 0.9 multiply by as that is 4 multiply by b that is 27 okay minus a divided by 2 that is 5.23 divided by 2 you can get the moment capacity hmm, uh, that will be 4 3 9 kip foot clear so one this means that when you providing Four number of bars. It will give you 439 kip foot moment capacity. Clear? Okay. This point will give you uh, cut up point one. Okay. We we draw this point on the bending diagram, moment diagram. Okay. We draw this point on the moment diagram. Okay. Let's say this is the moment diagram. Clear? This is the moment diagram there. Okay. Let's say this is the maximum moment, clear? Which is for six bar. This is the moment diagram that is four, three, nine. Okay. Now we will determine that this is the point where four number of bars is continued. Okay. Now after this point we cut further two bars now when we cut further two bars further two bars so this means that when we reach to there so what will be the moment capacity right now okay so you will recalculate a again okay so once you cut two further bar means in six you cut up four bars okay So now your a is will be two square inches. Okay. So for this two square inches, you again calculate a, and you calculate phi m. Clear? Phi m. For this purpose, same formula will be used, and you will calculate the phi m. So what will be there? The value for this two square two bars, you will get. 231 okay you will get this 
five into two thirty one k four. Yeah. Now you will look at this two thirty one. No, these two basically are the theoretical cutoff points. And what you need, you need to find out their respective distances from the support. Okay. That is, let's say x one and that is x two. These are the these x one and x two shows theoretical cutoff points. These are the points where you cut off the steel bars. This is at this point. Uh, you know, at this point, up to this point, you will uh, continue six bars. Okay, six bars. But after that point, to this point, you will continue four bars. You cut. Two bars right there, and after that point, you cut four bar. So there, at the support, you have only just remained two bar. So at mid, you have six. At middle portion, you have four bars, and at the edge portion, you have two bars. So this was the basic example that uh, how these uh, how these bars are worked out. You should be remember that you you uh, you use 0.9 in this formula. 0.9. Okay. So you check 0.9. Whether the ductility check is okay or not. This means row provided is greater than row minimum and less than row maximum or not. So here uh, it found out that row is found out. Row provided is 0.0123 and row max, which is taken from the appendix A table as seven at last of the pages of the book, that is 0.0136. And uh, your row minimum is 0.0033. Okay, so that this check, this check, this check should be checked because if it is not, uh, if it is not okay, then your 0.9 value will not be okay. Okay, so then you will adjust that 0.9. So it has a uh, the procedure which we followed in the design of it will be okay. So now the question is that that you have to find out. This is the maximum capacity. 623 foot is the maximum capacity. 439 for 9. 9 four bars will give you 439, and two bars will give you 231. Now, the question is that between these two points, you have to provide six bars, and between these two points, these two points, you have to provide four bars, and between this point and this point, you have to continue two bars. This should be clear right now. Okay, this should be clear. If I <clears throat> okay, if I draw the sketch, so between these two points, okay, between these two points, you have to add six bars. You have Continue six bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Between these two points, you have to continue six bars. Beyond this point and this point, you 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 will cut out cut out these two bars, and you will continue these four bars. Okay. One, two, three, four. Clear. Yeah. And up to up to this side is also okay. You continue it. Okay. Now once you reach to this point, you will cut these two further bars, and you just continue these two bars to the support. Clear? You just only continue these two bars. So these four bars right there, these two bars which is right there. Give you how much capacity? These two bars right give you capacity of these six bars basically. These six bars basically give you this this much capacity. Clear? Six twenty three. Okay. Clear? And then these four bars. These four bars basically. These four bars basically. 
give you how much capacity? Uh, these four bar basically give you this 439 capacity, clear? And these two bars are basically give you how much capacity? This 231 foot capacity, clear? So this is the total uh, detail of this kind of uh, example, okay? So this basically this point and this point, this is theoretical cutoff points. No, the question is that that how much will be the length which of of these six bars in between these two bars? Now how much be the length of these four bars in between these two bars? And okay, so you you need to determine the length of these bars. Okay, so if you draw this diagram on scale, you can easily determine this distance. But as the scale, uh, we don't use scale here. So we use the moment equation here. Okay. So you know about moment equation that you have loaded diagram. Okay. If I cut a cross section here, as you did is given that is I think so around about 5.5 k per foot, and this reaction is given. Almost this is given. At 2.5 and 5.5 loading, so this is at 2.5. If you take this cross section at a distance x, so your in in will be at 2.5 into x. Uh, this is clockwise movement. Okay, this is clockwise and this is anti-clockwise. So minus. 5.5 multiply by x multiply by x divided by 2. So you will get this equation, okay? And then you compare this moment mx, which is the moment equation, with phi m. Clear? So you will get at 2.5 multiply by x minus 5.5. Uh, multiply by x square divided by clear. Now you will compare for theoretical point one. For theoretical point one, you will compare at this 439. Clear? You will write 439 equals to, and you will solve this equation for x. Okay? This this becomes the quadratic equation, and you will get the x value. Clear? You will get the x value. Similarly, for theoretical point two, you compare this phi m n with two hundred and thirty one. Clear, and it gives you quadratic equation, and from there you will get the x two distance. Okay. So once you get that distance, okay. Once you get that distance, it should be remembered. That that distance will be from this point. For theoretical point one, it will be measured like this. This is x one. So how you can get this length? What will be the length? So x one will be at this side also and at this side also. So add it and subtract this x one plus x one from the whole length. You will get this value. Clear? That will be. Only 3.75 feet for four for four bars. Now, how much length this will be? 16.16. So you will get the x2 value. That will be your x2 value. Clear? On this side, it will also x2. Clear? So x2 and x2, you will add these two values and subtract in the whole length. You will get this one. So you can cross check this value also. So this is a kind of um, design example, you know, that how we can calculate theoretical cutoff points. Okay, how we can calculate theoretical cutoff points. Uh, this is just only you can say uh, an introduction. You can also get this value through that approximate equation also, okay, which we use at the initial stage. You can get this value x1 and x2 value at this 
through this formula. How you can get it? It is quite simple. Uh, you have your equation like this. Okay. For example, if you are finding this value is how much? This is 623. 623, and if you, if you are calculating, let's say this value, that is. 439. So you need to determine this the difference between these two. There yeah. and uh, let's say this distance is x1, x1. Okay. So and this distance is half distance that is 15 feet. There. Yeah. So how you can determine? You use the relationship as we use in the initial stage of the lecture. So 15 square equals to you need to determine this height okay and this height will be equals to 623 minus this one 439 divided by the total height divided by the total height and total height will be 623 so if you from there you can get x1 equals to taking under root but minus subtract these two divide by this one cross multiply by this 15 square inches and the answer which you get take the square root of that one you will get round about round about x1 will be round about in my view 17 point something okay you will get 17 point something clear you will get this value okay this value and similarly for the other point you will get 20 or 23 point round about so you can use that approximation formula as well as you can use this equation also. Uh, you can make uh, the parabolic equation for the curve. Okay, so many approaches can be made to obtain these values, these theoretical cutoff points. Okay, so this was just only uh, in the picture you can see like this. This point, these points where the bar is bent up. You know. This is the point where the bar is bent up, you know, you are the C. So these points is basically cut up points. And how much its distance from the face of the support, you will you will here you are practically dealing with this this problem. Okay, that at what distance this bar will be bent up. We are concerning here in this lecture to find out these distances. Clear? So in this lecture, this is a very interesting lecture. Uh, and inshallah it will be proceed further okay that will be inshallah explained in next uh, lecture number uh, lecture number eight lecture number seven sorry and you will see that how um, we will elaborate this okay we will elaborate this uh, this uh, theoretical cutoff points okay we will see that what kind of shear effect will occur and how this movement diagram will affect how these cut up bars and bending bars will be will be will be adjusted okay this is this is example okay and we will do this example okay in these these theoretical cut up points we will determine from how much distance and you will see that what kind of factors some other factors which we will consider while designing and determining these theoretical cut up points for the time being I think it is enough you people must need to understand this basic theory behind these cutoff points because in further lecture I will uh, I will go in very very deep details. So if you don't have knowledge about these this basic knowledge, you don't understand those uh, terminology and those explanations. So uh, I request you to please recall this whole theory, and I will also show you that. Uh, I will also uh, cover topics relating to other books also. You will see that what McGregor book says about these cut-up points and these uh, these uh, uh, theoretical points. Okay, so we will discuss it in those books also. And there, those books, it is very there is a great detail on it. Okay, so you will see that details. Okay. And uh, similarly, in Nielsen book, there is a lot of 
material relating to this topic okay you can see you can you can uh, read these documents okay so it will help you a lot from your practical point of view okay and uh, you see that there is so much detail okay inshallah i trying my best to uh, complete this whole theory okay because these are basics and it is very very important most of the teacher don't give him time okay at base level clear so inshallah i will explain these terms and i will do it in some practical examples okay on this which are in given in this book also and also in your record so i think you need to understand these terms okay uh, recall this theory the development theory and then inshallah we'll proceed uh, if you have any question if you have any doubts okay please contact me my uh, contact numbers uh, any question i will come to all